Saturday, June 11th, 2022. We've just gotten off, I think, at exit 402 from um, I-40. We're going to Seven Islands Birding State Park here in Tennessee. We're going to check it out. Sun's in her eyes going I-40 anyway. Maybe this will be a nice little video. Nice little uh, Tennessee back road, that's for sure. Haven't ridden the bike but once so far. I want to get it out and ride it. Maybe this would be a good place to do that. church we come back out the same way we may try to get in there's a nice view There it is. She got us there. Let's see what's going on here. We have arrived. I don't think there's going to be any bike riding. Okay, let's go up here and see what's going on. Saturday, the 11th of June, 2022. Seven Islands Birding State Park. A little early for most of the flowers, it looks like. Tennessee State Park. I used to have some of those honeysuckles over there. I wonder what that is, some kind of composting? I've forgotten the name of those flowers, but we've got good pictures of those flowers down in Rome, Georgia from last year. Birds everywhere. Nice thistle. Some people's voices carry forever, don't they? Okay. 
Seven Islands, Tennessee Birding State Park. Here, Bob White. They're doing a good job here with all the birding. The birding part. You've got berries, you've got flowers, you've got coverage. I'm hearing, and I don't know birds that well, but I'm hearing a huge variety of bird sounds. See what this guy is. If we can see him. Who are you? Oh, I guess he's a little shy. He just flew. Sort of like the eagle. I just missed a really nice red winged blackbird. That would have been great as he flew across. But yeah, this is habitat for all sorts of critters here. Again, Seven Islands, Tennessee Birding Park. You would think there'd be bicycles here. I don't guess it's allowed. Seven Islands, Tennessee Birding Park. Great blue out there. This is a really nice place. They got this fence rail a little bit high, guardrail. A little aggravating. That's a good five plus feet. I guess people are tempted to jump. Shallow water. Whatever these fish are, there are a lot of them. They're facing the current. There's, they're all over the place. Yeah, I think they're bottom dwellers and they'd be suckers because they'll they disturb the bottom and then start working on it. I'm sure a whole lot of these fish, whatever they are. Okay, get y'all some of this, just for the heck of it. Some very nice stainless steel bolts.
plastic washers, plastic and metal washers. And now they get a sign, get all the way down here at the end, they've got a sign, bicycles allowed on paved. <laughs> I didn't have it up at the front. Three deer out there on the island. This is definitely a must visit place if you're in this Tennessee area. Put 10 minutes off of I-40 south, close to Knoxville. There you guys are. See how this S7 Galaxy Ultra does zoomed out. This is zoomed way out. Four. I saw three, but I see four in this camera. Hard to hold it still, zoomed out as far as it is. My mistake of a five of them. Okay, Saturday, the 10th of June, 2022, 10.25, the day is getting away from us. We have just left the Seven Islands, Tennessee Birding Park. Very good, very good stop. Highly recommend. I didn't see the sign saying bicycles allowed until I got down to the end of the trail. Bicycles are allowed on the paved part, not the uh, dirt part. It'd been nice if they had put it up at the beginning, but it is what it is. I've walked more the last two days than I have in a year, than the last year. We're going to get this little church as we go out. Well, I say we're going to. They've got it blocked off there. We can turn in. I just got this exit blocked. People come flying over the hill.
Bethel United Methodist. We'll be able to see a little bit further over the hill now. Or give us more space. And I've said this before, but I blame a lot of this on the cars of today, cars and trucks of today. For the biggest part, they're smaller, they're quicker, they may not, I guess they may be faster too, but they're quicker, they're more agile, they're nimble, and the people are pushing them to their limit. And for a lot of people, the car's limit, the car's abilities are a lot better than the people's abilities. with the Osmo this morning. We have used the GoPro Black 10 a little bit the last couple of days, not a whole lot. But the Osmo, it, like I said, it's almost four years old and it's, it's giving me overheating issues now. It has really had a workout. <laughs> 